Podcast there on YouTube. Today we want to take a deeper look into a Squire Bullet Hardtail Strut, which is a, the cheapest fender you can get. I will disassemble the strut and then we take a deep look inside uh, and find out something about quality and how to do it. This is a 2019 Squire Bullet Hardtail from Indonesia. I bought it from Musikhaus Kirstein and I must say that they have done, or well, Squire has done, a really good setup. So the swings are very low and everything is fine. It plays good. It's a light guitar. Uh, and now we will see something. Now we will find out something about the components. If they are really good or if they are, are there some issues. So we start from the top, from the stock. So you can see. Seed stock. And the first thing we noticed is that this, the tuners are uh, a real poor quality and you have problems to tune it. And here we have space where there's nothing. So the tuners are not really good. Also, from optical size, I think that the logo is looks a little bit cheap. Okay, what they changed, it's no longer Squire Bullet Strat, now it's Squire Stratocaster, so it's a little bit nicer. These are the same parts they use on, on very expensive strats. So, take a look at the nut. Maybe you can see it, but I can tell you. This is a cheap plastic nut, but it's cut it perfectly. So this is really okay. On the back side, so this is Indonesian. We have a skunk stripe. It feels good. It's a fretwork. I can tell you it's the same quality uh, like on a 1000 euro fender Mexico shirt. So I can compare it because I have one over there. I have also two uh, standard and there's no difference. This is really a really really good job with the frets. Everything works. I shake it out. So this is also cheap and this is very cheap but it works okay and now we take a look inside We have a cheap jack on the works. And now so now we have to check is this only black color or is it shielding paint? So So, this is real shielding. A little bit dirty here inside, maybe you can see it. But it's well cut, it. everything's okay. Here, 
Of course, it's a 113 euro guitar. These are cheap parts, but they work. Also, this is a very cheap switch, but uh, I like it. These switches are quite good. The pickups uh, have the same design we like uh, Fender Mexico standard. The difference is with less copper wire, so there is a lower resistance uh, and so a little bit different in sound, but it's, uh, it's good sound and it works very well. So you can check the resistance. Three point two, three point three, three point four. So, from neck to bridge. Uh, Mexican standard pickups uh, are around about six and a half kilo. So they have uh, uh, saved some money with less wire, but really okay. These are good pickups. It looks a little bit strange, but this is also absolutely okay. But uh, this pickup and the complete pickup is the same like in a Squire Affinity from Indonesia, not from China. China, Chinese pickups and the complete Chinese guitars are not the same like Indonesian. Indonesian are much better, believe me. So you have the same body. Okay, no tremolo, but you can get with, with tremolo. And uh, if you have one with a tremolo, it's the same tremolo like an uh, Indonesian affinity. It's everything is the same without the heat stock and tuners. So this means a bullet from Indonesia is the same guitar like an affinity from Indonesia with other tuners. But the price difference is around about something between 60, 70, 80, Euro. So the better choice is this guitar. You have. Well, we will check out. Is this only a picture or is this true wood? Let's check out. So I checked it and this is not a picture, this is real wood. So you can see it's a maybe four piece body. And the reason uh, why I prefer Sunburst is uh, you have a much thinner lacquer on it. The colored ones have a lot of wood filler between the wood and uh, the normal paint. So you have a, a thickness of, in the end, of plastic from round about two millimeters, two and a half millimeters, this, which means it's 0.1 inch and uh, that's really bad. 
the fucking bed. Now we have to shake out the neck. So, is it tight or is it not tight? So, let's find out. So, here we have a little space. And here it's absolutely tight. Okay. So, Not really tight. I think they can do it better. Let's look at this. Like this. So you will see. Yeah. Check it out. I think good guitar for the price. Everything okay. So what we have in conclusion, we have a guitar for 113 euro with good pickups, with cheap electronics, with the bridge itself is okay, but this is, it looks cheap, it, it's, this is cheap stuff. So. Perfect credit. Uh, a good nut. Everything is fine on this guitar. Without the tuners. And uh, this part. So in the next video, I will show you uh, a light upgrade so which everybody can do. It's, it's very easy and it helps a lot with this guitar and I think it's, it's uh, cheap and so we see next time. Bye. Ah, if you want to see uh, the upgrades, uh, so I plan at first the uh, light upgrade and in a third video, a, a huge upgrade, but all for, for low price. So please subscribe, click on the bell so that you get a message. There's a new one. See you, bye.